After days of challenges for our community, power outages, water shortages, dozens of people dealing with this. Another crisis watching their apartments burn and ultimately collapse last night. At least 50 people were displaced. The night team's Jonathan Cotto went back out to the Cortland View at TPC Apartments today to speak to those who are now figuring out what comes next. Nuevamente se escuchó como una explosión y empezó a salir agua. She says she heard a loud explosion, then suddenly there was so much water. For Maria Teresa, this is how the series of unfortunate events unfolded at Cortland View. On Monday, pipes busted, completely flooding her apartment. Ya estaba tratando de estar tranquila cuando empiezo a ver lo del humo. She says just when she started to feel at ease, she noticed smoke. But her apartment, not the, the only one. There was also flooding in Building 6, the same building that caught fire yesterday. Dos días antes, también llegaron los bomberos. Reyes says two days before the fire, fire crews were attending to flooding upstairs. Reyes was a resident of Building 6 and lived on the third floor inside her home, everything she owned, even her savings. Mis hijos salieron descalzos porque estaban en la sala viendo la tele en... She says her young children even evacuated barefoot and left with nothing. Reyes saw the flames destroy everything she worked hard for. She adds they're all very sad. They arrived this morning, looked up where their home once was, just to see everything was lost. A fire lieutenant with Bear Bull Verde says these apartments are known for having electrical problems. He says they are here often. They were here yesterday morning. But again, this fire, the cause of this fire is still under investigation. Reyes says she is thankful everyone made it out safe and alive and welcomes any help possible. Back to you, Steve. Your thoughts and prayers certainly with those people. Thank you, Jonathan. Now, if you'd like to help those who were displaced by the fire, you can head to Pure Posh Salon located in the village at Stone Oak, a donation drive happening there between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. tomorrow.